Um, I use rough math here. <laughs> we have 44 stitches that we need. So um, roughly about 40 inches I'm going to map out. So this is roughly 10 inches. So 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to do 50 just to be on the uh, safe side and to leave myself some extra room. So this, the end of 50, is where I'm going to start. So this is the end that you cast on and make a little bit of a loop or a pretzel. So crisscross the yarn and bring one side of the loop through here and pull it tight just to create um, a knot on the end here. Index finger and thumb facing down through the yarn like this. You're going to bring them, flip them up. So now you're looking at the yarn. You can hold the rest of it with these two fingers, the bottom, and then you're going to make another loop. So to do that, you scoop the outside of the thumb, bring it all the way to the outside of the yarn on the index finger and pull it through the loop. Pull tight. There you have two loops again, scoop from the thumb, Bring it all the way to the index finger and scoop it through the loop. Scoop the thumb, scoop the index finger, pull it through the loop. Scoop, scoop, pull. Scoop, scoop, pull. And you just keep doing this until you have 44 stitches on your needle. Once you've cast on your 44 stitches, you're ready to join in the round. I use what is referred to as the magic loop method. So basically all you do is you find sort of a middle point in these loops to pull your knitting needle wire through here. Doesn't have to be exactly half, but roughly half. And I'm going to put a stitch marker on the side. Make sure that um, the yarn is on the outside here. This is what you're going to use to knit. So we're going to put a stitch marker on here and we're going to pull this back needle out, kind of tightening that um, rope through there. And you're going to start knitting. I'm just make sure you don't <laughs> use the, uh, the tail in there. Okay, so I'm going to wrap some yarn around my finger here. And I'm going to start knitting in pattern to join the round. So first two stitches are knits. Knit. Knit, purl, tricky on camera, I apologize for the fumbling, <laughs> I'll get used to this. So knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, purl. Pearl. My hands are so dry, they're pulling the yarn. Knit, knit. Pearl, pearl. Oops. And you just keep going around until you reach the marker. If you get to the end of your work and you realize that things have gotten a little bit twisted. Don't worry, don't do what I used to do and unravel the whole work. All you have to do is figure out which way it's twisting and untwist it. I mean, <laughs> it's that easy. 
So we're going to slip as if to knit, slip as if to purl. We've got these two stitches on the right hand needle. I'm going to take the left hand needle, tuck it in the front of these two. So now we've got our right needle sticking through the back of these two loops, grab the yarn and pull it through. So you've knit these two together and you've tucked the purl row nicely behind this knit rib. Okay, now we've come to the last decrease row. So this is an SSK. So in this, in this instance, because they're both knit stitches, you're going to slip them both the same way. So that is as if to knit. So first one here is slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, put your needle in the front of these two stitches and knit them together. So slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, left hand needle goes in the front of those two stitches and you knit them through the back. Last decrease row is done. And now we're ready to close up the top of the beanie. You're gonna cut the string, leave yourself a little bit of room. And you're gonna grab a tapestry needle. And you're going to thread end of the yarn through the needle. And you're going to finish off the hat. So here was the end. That was the last stitch. So this is the first stitch of technically the next round. So here we just go and pull off the loops like this. And pull that through. I'm just gonna adjust this a little long. So then you just go ahead and pull that tight like that. And in here, tighten it up. Maybe I'll pull it through here just to weave it in a little bit. Okay, so we've Brought the needle through the inside. This is the inside of the hat. And to finish it, I like to just thread it through a couple of these loops, just making sure to not go through to the right side. And you can just do a little, little knot here. Nothing too crazy. And then I just start weaving in this end to hide it like this. I'm gonna pull the tapestry needle through these. It's getting stuck. I take my scissors and I just pull this tight like this just to reveal some of the yarn and I cut it like this and when you pull it tight it disappears. Done! Now we turn it back the right side out. Finished beanie.